Hi everyone, this is Mervic Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through the suggested solution for 2020 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 21. Question 21, which compound is least reactive with a few drops of ethanolic silver nitrate under the same conditions? Now, the purpose of adding silver nitrate in general is to try to precipitate our halide, silver chloride, silver bromide, silver aldehyde. So we should be familiar with that. And I have four compounds here, benzoyl chloride for option A, 2-chloro-2-methylpropane for option B, chlorobenzene option C, 1-chloropropane option D. Now we have different types of chloro-containing organic compounds. So in this case, what this question is testing is the reactivity of our chloro compounds. So let's run through an overview involving that then we can better answer this question. So in general, in syllabus, we have three chloro-containing organic compounds, our acid chloride, halogenol alkene, chloroalkene, and chlorobenzene. So in terms of reactivity, my acid chloride, it is the most reactive, followed by chloroalkene, halogenol alkene, followed by halogenol benzene or chlorobenzene. Now we need to explain the reactivity. The reason why my acid chloride it is the most reactive is because my carbon is attached to two electronegative species. My oxygen is electronegative, which is a delta minus. My chlorine is also electronegative, which is a delta minus charge. So my carbon is attached to two electronegative species. It makes this carbon very, very positively charged. So therefore, it becomes very attractive to nucleophiles. The reactivity will go up. All right. So if I compare this with chloroalkane, now chloroalkane, my chlorine is more electronegative than my carbon, so my chlorine will be a partial minus charge. And since my carbon is only attached to one electronegative species, my carbon, it is positively charged, but not as positive as compared to my acid chloride carbon. Now, if I consider chlorobenzene, the reason why this CCL bond is very stable is because it is stabilized by resonance. Usually what we will do is we will mention that, okay, chlorine, it has a lone pair. So what it can do is it can use the lone pair to interact with the delocalized pi system of benzene. So this CCL bond will be stabilized by resonance. Some of us will say that it has partial double bond character. So you can use either one of them. It doesn't really matter. But the conclusion that we have is if it is chlorobenzene, the CCL bond is stabilized by resonance and it doesn't undergo any substitution reaction. I cannot break the CCL bond if it is attached to benzene. All right. So in terms of the reactivity, more or less we know. Explanation, we should also be familiar with that. In fact, we can make use of how it reacts with AgNO3 to bring out the differences in terms of the reactivity. We can show the difference in the reactivity with the reaction with AgNO3. Because if I try to add AgNO3, I'm trying to precipitate out your chloride, your Cl minus. So with my acid chloride, it is reactive enough to react with AgNO3 under room temperature. No heating is required because in itself, my acid chloride is reactive enough to react with water at room temperature. You kick out a Cl minus and the Cl minus will be there to precipitate with your Ag plus. So I can get an immediate PPT of my AgCl at room temperature with acid chloride. Now, how about my chloroalkane? Now, chloroalkane, it is possible for me to kick out the Cl minus, but I need a prior reaction, which is a substitution, nucleophilic substitution to kick out the Cl minus. So what I'll do is I need to use NaOH equals reflux. Prior heating, a nucleophilic substitution will occur, and I can kick out the Cl minus. Cl minus will be there for precipitation with Ag plus. So it is possible for me to precipitate my Cl minus if it is a chloroalkane, but I need prior heating with sodium hydroxide required. So it shows that it is less reactive as compared to acid chloride. Acid chloride, room temperature, I can get observation. Chloroalkane, I can get white PPT, but I need to do heating, prior reaction. Now, chlorobenzene, there's no reaction. Even if you do heating, you cannot break the CCL bond. If it is attached to benzene, it is stabilized by resonance. So we do not get any precipitate if 
we are trying to react with chlorobenzene. So the difference in the reactivity, we have talked about it. Let us come back to this exercise and we consider which one is the most stable. Now, involving what the question wants is which one is the least reactive or the most stable. And if I come back to my options A, B, C, D, option A, benzoyl chloride, this is the acid chloride. So this guy should be the most reactive. Option B, 2-chloro, two 2-methylpropane, two this is uh, chloroalkane. Then option C, chlorobenzene, obviously this is my chlorobenzene. This is the most stable, this reactive. D, 1-chloropropane, this is also a halogenyl alkane, chloroalkane. So if I compare options A, B, C, D, obviously C, my chlorobenzene, it is the most stable. This is the least reactive and this is our answer for this question. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this exercise. If you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.